Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess. I'm just doing your March readings. Okay, and this reading is for the sign of Leo. Leo, what's happening for you in March? I am using the Pagan Tarot here. I was using the Tarot of Dreams. It's very hard to shuffle, and when you're trying to do readings quickly, you can't give them a really good shuffle and move through them very quickly. So this is, oh, for Leo. Leo, thank you so much for joining my channel. I'm very grateful to have you on board, and if you're new, welcome. If the readings don't resonate, you know you can go to Cafe Astrology and pull up a birth chart, put your details in and find out what other aspects of your chart the planets were in when you were born and follow those instead or just for the week. Okay, so we do have the Ten of Pentacles coming out here. Very nice. This is the card of being abundant, whether it's financially, whether it's um, it's about having everything you need everything's in order money material goods everything you need is here now it can be about abundance it can be about um inheritance money coming in money that's owed to you here you have the devil card behind that so you could have a capricorn that owes you money you could have some sort of settlement some um inheritance from perhaps a Capricorn um, we do have the five of cups here this is someone that um, and the seven of swords something happened here some of you could be getting a, a settlement from a relationship marriage something was bad here because you've got this devil card and then we've got this card of the seven of swords. So somebody has been dishonest. You may have got some sort of compensation here. But let's have a look. Okay, so we have the moon coming out. The moon's made a lot of appearances today. The moon talks of things unknown, of not actually being able to see. The universe hasn't shown you everything yet. We do have the strength card coming out here so the strength card is the card of leo um, but it's also the card of gaining your strength of being very sort of strong at this time sometimes it's about you know having your dark side and your light side married up um, and being able to work with them both equally having a great understanding of your high higher self and your earthly self Okay, Six of Swords coming out here. So this is about moving away from something. I've got that strongly with that initial stuff there. You're moving away from something that was quite tumultuous and into much calmer water here. Okay, Five of Swords. Yeah, something that was quite, um, quite an ordeal. It could have been a fight with someone. It may not have been a physical fight, but it was something that was pretty strong. Stressful. Now, the other thing I have to say here is, although there are two people in this card, this card sometimes comes out around someone who's very self-centered, someone who's very stuck in what they do, someone who's very stuck in their ego. And we did have the devil card here. So I think some of you are moving away from someone who was, it was very full of conflict, could have been quite toxic, um, but it's taken a long time for you to gain the strength to move on here. Okay, so we do have the Empress. So beautiful. So you really are standing in your power now. You're really ready to birth something new and you're moving forward very rapidly here. Five of Pentacles. Although you feel a little bit empty and a little bit hollow from this whole experience, it's like you're moving into something much better. Okay, so we do have the King of Cups coming out here. So you could have been dealing with a water sign. Um, this water sign is very cold here, quite manipulative. Wow. Okay, no wonder we had the devil card coming in. All right, I'll put a few more cards down and we'll do a, a recap. Two of Wands here. So you're taking a very different path. You're moving in a completely different direction. Um, and we do have the Page of Swords here too. So this is about... It's This sort of looks to me like you've learned a lot from this experience because you're able to now really understand the direction you're going in here. You've got clarity here. 
Okay, and we have the death card. So you're going through a transformation at the moment. Well, that would make sense, being I'm reading what I'm reading here. Okay, so you've got some sort of payout. Something's coming to you here. And you know what? This abundance could be because you've been dealing with someone who's been very manipulative, dishonest, um, and not very kind. They've been quite manipulative here, and you're moving away from this situation. The moon's exposed something here to you. You've had sort of like a wake-up call to something, and you've found the strength to move away now. Um, I feel like when I see this, you know, Six of Swords we always think of as moving away from something that was pretty pretty drastic, um, but I feel like you've had to fight to the last here to move away from this situation. Um, you have got it all together now, although you are feeling a little disappointed and um, hurt by what's happened. You're moving away from someone who looks like they could be a water sign. Now, the thing is you're walking forward. You will have some transformation. You're a completely different person now to what you were before. So I feel like you've probably been very, very downtrodden in this situation. Um, you may have lost yourself a little bit. And I would say to you, don't worry with the strength card, the Empress coming out here. You're moving forward down a very different path and you're heading towards where you need to go. This um, Page of Swords, you know, it's like you've learned to see direction, speak your truth, being able to understand the direction you're being pulled in now. But there is something about you that will never be the same again with this death card here. You've let something go. So you've probably understood um, what went on in this and how you will never let it happen again. It's like you've learned your lessons here. You've got the lessons in the boat with you there and you're moving forward. So for some of you, this is a pretty tough reading. Now, again, it may not be necessarily about love. It could be moving away from a family member or a friend. Um, it's left you in a bit of a pickle. You may have had someone extremely manipulative around you that sort of made you forget who you were or what you were in this situation. And now you're moving away from them. So that's really good. And the card you've got out is positive recognition. And it says here, congratulations, your plans have worked out perfectly and now it's your time, time to shine. Brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you and success is all but assured. Express yourself openly and honestly, knowing that those surrounding you are trustworthy. Be open to unexpected opportunities. And maybe you will feel like that at the moment because you've got the Five of Pentacles here, which talks about that feeling left in the cold, that spiritual loneliness. So it may take a little while, but you're going to do fine. You have learned a lot from this experience and you're moving on a very different person. So thanks, Leo.